We joined internationally in 2016 with one university, which was University of Johannesburg in South Africa. And this year we've grown to Botswana, and we're hopefully going to grow to uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. This competition started back in 2003 in Sangaban and has become quite a big event around the world. Two universities involved uh, in the final stage, um, Johannesburg uh, and uh, KZN. So congratulations for you to, to making it this far. Um, I think we have seven entries to look at, from which we will choose uh, the team that goes to Dubai. I think this competition is a great example where students get exposed to a real life situation and where they get a chance to integrate sustainability into their design, um, in this case for Dubai, which is an extreme hot climate and you need a lot of passive cooling strategies to get to a good result. I was impressed by the students that they did a lot of investigation to create good architecture and at the same time create sustainability into their designs. For today's competition I'm really expecting to see uh, creative and unique ways in addressing sustainability as well as really understanding and driving the design process to the context that they are being provided with. My advice to future students in the competition is first of all come prepared. <laughs> I think it's one of the competitions where pretty pictures and an elaborate speech won't cut it. I think the competition is driven by excellence. Secondly, I think because the limited amount of time for presentation, I think try and really focus your energy and focus your arguments and your concepts so that the jury can quickly understand what you guys are wanting to do and, and really inform your design. What I personally look at as a judge is not looking at more or less the students trying to tick the, all the boxes but really looking at innovation and really looking at how the students challenge the status quo and for me it's really about architectural innovation. And when I see students who are also willing to break barriers and break walls in terms of forward planning, I get encouraged. So for me, it comforts me knowing that the future looks bright when so many young planners and architects are forward thinking. So it's not, like, it's not about where they compete internationally, but what happens after, after that, what we're concerned about. Them competing internationally, they are winners already. But what knowledge they bring back and infuse it within the local architectural community within the province and hopefully broaden the scope further from maybe other universities to, to enter and probably be pioneers within the industry uh, itself within their, their province. So by then we start having this migration of knowledge moving from one province to another with uh, different responses in terms of how they design within the climate where they are.